it's time for another army review from the armies of the Lord of the Rings. Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel STF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is my review from the Armies of the Lord Ring. It is Fangorn. So we're nearing the, the end. I think there's only three after this one for the good side before we move on to the evil side of things. But um, Ents are of course not evil, they're practically neutral. Uh, and, um, and Fangorn of course comprises almost entirely of Ents. And I'm, I'm currently doing an Ent army, so this is very, very fitting. Well, I'm, I'm doing an Ent army including many other projects, but yeah. Army composition for this army is Treebed and Ents. So only two different uh, two different troop types for this, this army. But luckily, there are convenient allies with every single good force in the game. Even Hobbit ones. They have an army bonus, which is don't be hasty. Ent models from this army list gain the fearless special rule. Additionally, Ent models are completely unaffected by any magical power uh, or special rules that would prevent them from moving or move them against their will. The only exception is that they will still take a hit from a Sorcerer's Blast, but will suffer no further effects. Additionally, Ent models are completely unaffected by the Nature's Wrath and Wrath of Bruinen, magical powers. So this means of course that your ends are more um, more stable, they can't be transfixed, they can't be Eldamar Madrigal, they can't really be, be moved in any way. So pretty pretty fantastic. So we of course only have two um, models to go through. First being Treebed. Ent monster infantry hero and hero of legend. So you can lead 18 Ents if you want to. I have 13, so that will do me just fine. Is <laughs> um, unchanged in points. Still have the same stat line as ever. So move 6, fight 8, 4 plus shoot. Strength 8, defense 8, 3 attacks, 3 wounds, 7 courage, 3 might, 6 will, and 3 fate. Its war gear are roots and branches. Uh, heroic Strike, Heroic Strength and Heroic Defense are his options for Heroic Actions. Heroic Defense on an Ent, oh, Strength 3 would need 6s by 4s being natural. Oh. Woo. Um, is as option for Merry and Pippin. So you can actually use the model for its full effect by having Merry and Pippin on top of Treebed. Um, they round them out to a very nice round number. Mm. Um, if this option is taken, both Merry and Pippin will ride into battle upon Treebed. They will use their profiles from the Fellowship Army List, see page 10, I did that in the first video in the series. will count as being in from the Fangon Army List for all intents and purposes. Obviously, won't be able to use the Ent um, Army bonus because they're not Ents, they're Hobbits and not Orcs. Um, Although this will not give Treebed the cavalry keyword, Merry and Pippin counts as passengers upon Treebed with the exception that the enemy shooting or attacks may not target them. Awesome. Whilst upon Treebed, Merry and Pippin may th still use their throw stone special rule using their own strength and range, even if Treebed has moved this turn without suffering the minus one penalty for moving and shooting. Should they dismount, Merry and Pippin may remount Treebed by moving into base contact with him. Absolutely fantastic. Only this model can actually remount, and only this model um, has the passenger rule in points match games. I think those are normally not used in in points matches. It has terror throw stones. Range eighteen. I was completely unaware that throw stones range was eighteen. That's really cool. Um, 
and you have a uh, strength 10 of course on the throw stones and woodland creature. It has bludgeon which is a new brutal power attack which every ant has and it's really fun. Select one enemy model in the fight to be picked up by the ant to become the bludgeon. If the cavalry, if the model is a cavalry model, the rider is picked up and immediately dismounted. This model cannot be a monster. Select another model in the fight for the end to hit with the bludgeon. Both the target and the bludgeon suffers one strength eight hit should the target be slain. The end may pick another target and repeat the process again. This may be done repeatedly until either end fails to slay the target or there are no more eligible targets to choose. Should the bludgeon survive, they will be knocked prone. Note that the end may, end may keep using the bludgeon even if the bludgeon is slain. This is really simple. Pick up a cavalry hero with several wounds and several fates and just slap onto other models, killing every other model and then kill, hopefully killing the hero in the process. Oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. So fantastic brutal power attack I really like it and it just gives me images from the movies with orcs being slapped around Ooh, this is cool so warriors of Fangorn uh, unchanging points and monster infantry and warrior move 6 fight 7 4 plus shoot strength 8 defense 8 3 attacks 3 wounds 6 courage same profile ever roots and branches for its war gear Terra, throw stones, same as tree bed range 18, strength 10, woodland creature, and the bludgeon, brutal power attacks. Now, I think it might be viable to play Ents as a full army. I think if Articon is 800 points next year, I might bring an Ent army, because then I could bring 6 models. That should be, no, yeah, 6 models. Well, eight, if you count Merry and Pippin. Just goes up, and oh, it could be so cool. I, I really, really hope I can do that, because I'm building an end army now, and I think uh, I think that would be pretty darn cool. So, I don't really think there's much more to say about ends. They can, if, if for instance, you, you face an army with l less shooting, you can, of course, just stand there and throw stones at them until they come at you. And then you can just bludgeon them around. I, I think it would be great fun to play in pure end army. And um, and this has given us the tool to do so. But do tell us in the comments below what you think about the end army of Fangorn. And if you want to use it as a pure army or just add some other cool bits into other armies to use in your games. So please comment, like, share and subscribe and do consider supporting STF on Patreon using the link in the description below as it is a fantastic way for you to support our efforts here at the studio and it gives us the monetary means to expand, improve and give you more cool videos each and every day of the week. So if that's at all interesting for you, click the link in the description below and it will take you to our Patreon page. But more importantly, support your hobby.